is um, challenging for the youth to take part in decision making process. There are few representatives in decision making bodies, not only at the national level, but even to the local levels. This makes their voice not be heard and make them marginalized. Being a, being a pastoralist community is very, it is very good. And at the same time, it is very hard for the, for the women as well as youth because they don't have a say in any decision making space. All decisions concerning the resources at home are left with the men. The project is so-called Strengthening Women and Youth Voices for Climate Action in Tanzania. But that project resulted to create an amazing toolkit, so-called the Pamoja Voice Toolkit. The toolkit is so amazing and impressive. Uh, why? Because first, uh, from the grassroot level, dig deep and dive in the voices of people. The aim of the Pomoja Voices Toolkit essentially was to support rural communities and local cooperatives become more inclusive, um, ensuring the voices of women and youth in particular were heard and contribute equally to decision making. There is a significant amount of complexity, even at the most local level, needed to survive climate risks. What the tools do is lead to an action plan that a community or a local government can then actively consider and put into place that will ensure that responses to climate hazards do benefit people in a way that suits their situations and priorities. We invited our grassroots partners to present the Pomoja Voices Toolkit at the Community-Based Adaptation Conference. It had a really good response. All the cooperatives that use this toolkit have committed to implementing actions produced as a, as a result of their action plan. Some organizations or some cooperatives have changing their leadership structure because you can find that in some cooperative, there was not even a single young person in the leadership structure. But now there are men, there are women, there are young men, there are young women as well. So this shows that the toolkit has positively impacted to these cooperatives. The government of Zanzibar, the Department for Cooperatives, has expressed uh, an interest in integrating this toolkit directly into their guidance for all new forming cooperatives, which would be a fantastic achievement. At the global level, um, we've also been engaged with a number of organizations um, to help promote the tool and encourage its uptake. Having an opportunity to use the tool with the different community members, it will give us a clear picture of what the community really needs concerning women and youth empowerment. The toolkit, I think it will somehow cure this, this notion behind that only men can make the decision. It will be a community that is led by both men and women and youth. They are part and parcel of making the community moving forward.